Okay, so first, if you could tell us your name, where you're from, and what either campaign or organization you work for. Sure, my name is Alia Rahman. I live in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I work as a field organizer for the Center for Community Change and also work on their electoral programs. Okay, great. And then what um, led you to apply to Wellstone Action's Advanced Campaign Management School this year? So most of my time at the CCC has been with the Movement Building Project, um, and the CCC is thinking about, as well as the, the Ohio Partner, the or Ohio Organizing Collaborative, is uh, thinking about how to kind of blend movement building and electoral work so that it's not so separate. That's actually something that's really, really important to me. Um, I work with very low income people who are often not served by the kind of, you know, directly served by the policies and some of the candidates that we have running. But um, I like to try and think about how can we use an election rather than be used by an election and use that to base build and uh, train leaders and thinking about all the other metrics and victories that we can associate with elections, not just who wins or how many votes, but how many leaders did we train, how many relationships did we build, how did we get faith in labor people to start to understand who we are, um, and to start educating around policy and those things, too. So that seems to be the guiding philosophy here. It's great. Uh, well, actually, I'll, uh, this is not on the list, but I'll ask you. Um, so you, you mentioned that you want to try to um, do more sort of merging or combining of the two. Like, What have you seen have been the problems with having electoral and organizing sort of separate, either in your world or in general? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that ultimately there's a, a huge cultural difference um, between the folks who are coming out of a community organizing background, like my supervisor. Um, I mean, she's worked with electoral people a lot, right? But this is this is a community of people who, you know, we can say things like they don't like to hold folks accountable, but they also come from a place where it's really important to do things like take the time to go with a single parent to a doctor's appointment or something like that. There is a there's a there's an ethic of care coming out of that tradition that I feel like can do a lot to help us with electoral work in the long term, so that things are not over at the end of the cycle, so that we maintain those relationships. Um, and then, uh, you know, I actually come out of a out of originally a, a, I'm originally a science teacher. Um, and, and then I taught uh, undergrads in college, so I was teaching future teachers. Um, and in some of those programs, metrics accountability are really important, so I have a little bit, bit of that like OCDness to my personality <laughs> anyway. Um, so I do see some really important things from the electoral side that, that may be able to help with uh, community organizing, especially at a time when we're trying to talk about things like scale with soul. You know, we don't have as much money and you know, boots on the ground to do the things we need to get done, so how can we kind of boost that capacity? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, and then did you happen to have any particular connection to either Wellstone Action or Paul and Sheila Wellstone before this training? Um, that would probably be through Rudy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> who is my, um, so I have, have the, the field boss, David Kimball, and the, the electoral boss, who is Rudy, and I work with Irma there as well. Okay, so the, And uh, obviously Karen Gasper at the OOC. Um, I did a lot with the We Are Ohio campaign on the Allies side with her. So. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Now, um, when you knew you were heading in here, what were the things you were most excited about sort of getting drilled into and skills you were about to learn? I mean, in general, you know, it's exciting to me to be able to go learn, you know, the stuff that, I almost said another word, uh, to be able to go <laughs> learn the stuff that you can't get anywhere else. I mean, that's very, very obvious. That's quite, it's quite clear that that's how people in the industry regard Wellstone. Um, uh, so, but actually a lot of it was for me about this thing that I just talked about, about how we're going to bring these kind of uh, cultural traditions of community organizing, um, grassroots organizing, and electoral work together. I think that that's something that absolutely has to happen if the left is going to move forward in a successful way in the future. Um, and I intend to do this for the rest of my life, so we need to get it right. Great. Yeah. So last question is much more broad, and you, you touched upon it a little bit, but sure. while Stone Action is about making progressive change in the world, what is it that drives you, and what are you most passionate about changing in your world? You know, I come from... Um, my mom is working class white farmer from, from northwestern Wisconsin. My dad was an undocumented dishwasher from Bangladesh. I grew up in Dhaka um, when it was a socialist country and then it transitioned to capitalism. And, and honestly, I think that I saw in a very, very raw way how economic policy and stuff, you know, how it becomes worn on people's bodies in terms of blood, sweat, and tears and what that really, really means. And I think that most of the hardship that I feel like people have gone through that I've known and loved in my life, they didn't have to and that those things, we can actually fix those. So to me, um, the reason we do this work is not to help people through hard times, it's to make sure that we don't have hard times. It's the difference between services and organizing to me. So uh, I believe very strongly in that. 